Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about white balance. And white balance is a photographic and video term for color. So right now I'm on a blue background and I've got a shirt that has a lot of blue in it. My lights are daylight color, so I have my LED up here and I have my curtains open actually, so uh, excuse the reflections. But for this video I want you to mostly look at my skin tone and the relationship of the color of the background and my skin tone and what happens as I adjust the white balance. So right now I'm on auto white balance and I'm using the Logitech camera app. I've got it zoomed in so that the blue fills the, the background completely. So now I'm going to change the white balance from auto to a manual setting. Okay, so now I look really cool because I zeroed out the white balance setting. So basically I moved it all the way to the left side of the slider so it's at zero percent and you can see that my skin tone does not look right I look really cool okay let's adjust it some more okay so I've added a little bit of warmth I've bumped it up to 25 percent on the scale along the bottom of the app okay it's halfway 50 percent and you can see that it is slowly getting warmer there's less blue on my skin tone. Now I'm at 75%, so warmer still. And this is 100%. I've moved that slider all the way over to the right side. Now this is with 100% manually. Let's pop it back down to auto and see the difference. Now if you're using the automatic settings of your webcam, you have to wait for a while for the camera to settle down. And actually with any camera that you're using the automatic settings, if you pop in and out of the frame, the color and also your brightness may change. Okay, so I'm going to put samples, I'm going to put some screen grabs of each of these settings down below so you can see the difference. So what do you think is the best? I've looked at the first four tests at 0, 25, 50, 75, and 100%. I guess that's five tests. And auto. And actually, for me, I think this camera doesn't do too bad of a job on auto. But your camera and your conditions may vary. It also depends on the, the backdrop you're using. Maybe the backdrop you use causes you to have more of a color shift. I know one of our students was using a gold background and she said that she didn't really like it because something weird happened to her skin tone. Now what do you think would happen if you had a gold background? Because this is how color works when you're using auto white balance. What happens is you have a color wheel and it has uh, red, green, blue and cyan, magenta, yellow. Every cool color has a warm color that's opposite and the goal of auto white balance is to hit this kind of a neutral gray, okay? The goal is to make everything gray. So if you have too much of one color, so I have too much blue, it will add a lot of yellow to balance, to color balance, all the blue. If you have too much red, it will add the opposite color of red, which is cyan, to balance too much red. If you have a lot of green, say I was shooting on a green background and had a green shirt, it would add magenta, which is the warm color that balances green, and a magenta is like a pink color, and it would add a lot of magenta to white balance or color balance all the green. But basically, in auto white balance or auto color, the camera is always trying to make things neutral. Your videos do not have to be perfect, okay? They just need to be good enough. I would try to avoid, you know, the blue face videos. If you can avoid that, that'd be great. If you can get it close enough. Remember, it's about connection, not perfection.